What are you saying, peeps? Welcome. It's good to have you here. So yes, this challenge in a nutshell is that I can only use five liters of water per day for everything. Now we're talking about hydration, washing, cooking, bathing, 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 brushing teeth, toilet, just to name a few. But first, let me add some context. So with having Elijah and having another one on the way, I've been having a lot of environmental anxiety. Apparently, apparently that's what it's called. But my thinking is, I wouldn't pass down a banged up car. So why would I want to be part of leaving a banged up planet for him to live in? His fat. So in the UK, we use an average of 141 liters of water per day. A nice hot bath uses 80 liters each. One big flush of the toilet uses four liters. A washing machine load uses 50 to 100 liters. An average shower uses 45 liters. And in the US, the average family can waste up to 818 liters of water per week from just leaks alone. So what, Gabe? There's uh, plenty of water on Earth. Yes, Mike, but only 1% is actually usable fresh water. Besides human needs, agriculture also needs water. Our water wastage doesn't only mean that agriculture suffers though, but ecocentrically means that we need to supplement this fresh water and use aquifers and groundwater supplies, which can't regenerate as fast as we take from it. Also, the filtration process, the extraction, transportation, filtration, etc., needs fossil fuels add into our carbon footprint. All this means is that by the time Elijah is our age, 35, over 5 billion people will suffer from water shortages, contribute a ton of extra greenhouse gases, making it harder for him and his family to grow and thrive. So first things first, we need to we need to ration. Rationing hasn't is isn't new to me either. I used to be in the army cadets. Yeah, that was when I was fifteen. That, Twenty years ago. But anyway, I'm gonna mark out on here roughly where I think everything should be. So first we got drinking, teeth and cleaning, cooking and kitchen cleaning, washing clothes and an emergency fund. The only thing that I'm not too sure about is, is, the, is the toilet. Whoa. You know what to do. Smash the ting, yeah? Morning, peeps. So, um, yeah, start the day. So I emptied uh, my rations for my water into a separate water bottle. So that's to one side. Now um, it's onto the, the, the cleaning itself. So, um, yeah. Just a little bit. Uh, how am I going to do this? Next up, pour some of this in here. And now this is all right. This feels a bit awkward. So, so far, so good. I was going to make a little snack. Refreshing, but then I decided to save some water allowance for the washing up and the cleaning of the kitchen, which is going to be needed later. Just gonna have one of these new cookies from my protein, the gooey filled, very nice, and a banana. Easy as pie. <laughs> well, no, it's, it's really not not easy. What did you do at nursery? Play with toys. Play with toys? Is that all you did?
this challenge was both good and stupid at the same time. And to be honest, it was never about the challenge itself. It was about proving a point that we, including myself, can be unnecessarily wasteful because we can, and it's harming the world. Speaking to my sister, reminiscing about being in Ghana, where we have lights off and days where um, there's no water supply because there's a drought and you have to use water from bags to do everything, it really puts things in perspective and makes you appreciate things. Okay, so technically I failed this challenge from the jump because there was no way that I was actually going to poop in my garden. My wife would flip and divorce me. But remember this, for some people around the world, this is real life for them. And to see the contrast of what we do and what some people have to do, we're taking the piss. So here are a few tips that I'm going to implement myself, but I also recommend you kind of looking at your lifestyle and see whether it, it, it applies to you too. Number one was turning off the water when you're brushing your teeth, scrubbing yourself in the shower, washing dishes, cleaning countertops. Because it seems we're so used to having running water just in the background that like subconsciously we, we forget that it's actually on. Because how many times have you been in the shower and you go to like start scrubbing soap or whatever and then you turn the shower head away from you and the shower's still running. Or, or you're washing the dishes and then you're, you're scrubbing the plates and the tap is still on. Why is it still on? Number two, no pun intended, you know when you meet someone new or you just don't want people to hear that you're doing the number number two? So you like turn on the shower or turn on the tap to kind of mask the boom. I've done that quite a few times when I first met Naisha, but you can't judge me because I know you've done it too. Number three is making sure that the uh, dishwasher and washing machines are fully loaded up rather than you know, just for convenience sake, um, just doing like these little short runs because it's still the same amount of energy, it's still the same amount of water that is being used for that load, regardless of how much you put in it. Number four is like putting like bogey tissues and just like tissues that you just use to pick up like minor things, put it in the bin rather than put it in the toilet. And then number five, although personally, I don't take a huge amount of baths and neither does Naisha, but you know, when you have kids, Elijah has a bath, a lot but again does he need to have a bath all the time so it's it's those little things that kind of like implementing on a personal basis on a family basis and then on a more widespread basis with this video the only large environmental elephant so to speak in the room is uh yeah so um, i guess this is to be continued don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and we are peace.